In this video, we are going to show how the eFlows for HPC tools have been used to deploy and execute a workflow in an HPC infrastructure. As example for this demonstration, we have used the probabilistic tsunami forecast workflow. This is a workflow that tries to predict the effects of a tsunami in a certain region. The first thing that a user has to do before deploying or executing a workflow is to set up the credentials to allow the eFlows for HPC services to access the HPC system with your account. This is done using the HPC Workflow as Service CLI with the option to generate an SSH key. This command returns a token to identify the SSH key pair generated and the part of the SSH key pair. This part the, of the SSH key has to be added in the authorized keys file in the HPC cluster. And the user has to keep the token to provide it at the deployment or execution phases. The workflow is stored in the workflow registry. For each workflow, we can see a PyComs code, a Tosca description, and a YAML file with the software requirements. We can import the workflow in the Alien for Cloud software. To do this, we have to provide the location of the Tosca description inside the workflow registry. And then click the import button to get the workflow description in Alien for Cloud. If we browse for the available workflow topologies, we will see the new PDF workflow. To deploy the workflow, we have to create a new application using the imported template. To start a deployment, we click on the Work on Environment part and we will see the steps to deploy the workflow in the HPC environment. If we click in Topology, we can see the topology of the workflow. We can see the abstract environment that describes the HPC system and in the upper part, we can see the image creation, the image transfer and the data sets to transfer. In the left side, we can see the execution and the stage in and stage out the data pipelines. If we go to the inputs part, we can see the inputs for the deployment. In this case, we have to specify the location where we will download the images in the HPC system, the data path, that is the, the location where we download the data in the HPC system, We have to also specify the object IDs of the regions dataset and the templates dataset. These object IDs can be obtained from the uh, data catalog.
Finally, we have to provide the Vault ID, that is the token that we get from the creation of the SSH keys. And the user ID, that is the username of the user in the HPC system. Once we fill the inputs, we have to select the York instance to deploy the workflow, that there is only one in this case. And in the matching part, we have to select the HPC site where we want to deploy the, the system. This will concretize the abstract environment that we had in the, in the topology to a real uh, description of a, of a system. And finally, we just need to click deploy to start the, the deployment. When we fire the deployment, we can see that we are executing the install workflow of the topology. That is executing in parallel the creation of the image and the different data pipelines. Once the creation of the image is finished, we can see that the image transfer is also active. And we can see the execution of this uh, data pipeline in the data logistic service. The size of the image is on gigabytes, so the transfer to the HPC system can take some minutes. We will skip it in this video. Once the image transfer has finished, the workflow is ready for the execution. If we try to see the available workflows with the HPC Workflow as Service CLI, we can see that there is no available workflows. To make the workflow available to the users, we have to add some metadata in the deployed application. In the Alien 4 Cloud, we have to specify the workflow to expose and the authorized users. Then, if we try the command again, we can see the workflow in the list. To execute the workflow, we have to use the trigger command of the HPC Workflow as Service CLI. We have to get the workflow ID and the token from the SSH keys. We have the run workflow file where we have the trigger command inside and we will put the workflow ID and the token. In this file, we also specify all the input parameters that are required for the execution, like the run path or the results path. So to execute the workflow, we only need to run the script that will execute the trigger command. We are going to connect to the HPC machine to see what is happening there and we can also monitorize the execution of the workflow in the Alien 4 Cloud interface. In this interface, we can see that we have submitted the execution of the staging pipeline, and we can see this in the, also in the data logistic pipeline. Once the pipeline has finished, we can see that the, the workflow is submitting the PyCom's job in the HPC system. 
we can connect to the machine and we can see that the job has been submitted to the queue and at this moment is running. If we look at the directory of the execution, we can see the transferred files, the logs of the PyCons execution, and later we can see also the uh, files of the application. The execution of the computation will take some minutes, so we are going to skip this part of in the video. Once the PyCom's application is finished, we can go to the HPC machine and see that the job has finished and we can see the result files in the, in the folder. So the last step that it's executed in the workflow is the stage out data pipeline that it will transfer the result file to the B2Drop folder. If we go to the B2Drop website, we will see the folder that is empty and if we refresh the website, we can see that the, a new file has appeared.